Welcome to Monster Monday. I'm Austin Adamson, and uh, due to a Twitter poll, I'm going to be playing uh, Super Hot tonight. We had a bunch of coverage up on the site last week, but haven't done it for Monster Monday yet. So uh, the latest update brought that brought it out of uh, review status and put it into retail mode wiped my save. So. Uh, here we are pretty much at the beginning and uh, I'm gonna try and just play through this uh, shown a lot of the early stuff already but if you got any questions or uh, comments I do have the chat open uh, and I am playing on the Playing on the PC using uh, using an Xbox One controller here, just because uh, it's a little easier on this this setup here where where I'm at. I don't quite have a regular desk. So yeah, Super Hot is the first person shooter Super. where time moves Hot. forward Super. only when the player Hot. moves. Super Hot. Super. And then Super after you complete a level, it does this, Super. which is really nice. Oof. Sorry, I've got the chat open now. So yeah, it's a lot about uh, uh, kind of lining up shots and anticipating enemy movements. And it becomes much more of a puzzle game than a shooter. Super. And Super. it's awesome. It's 25 bucks. It's uh, it's out on Steam right now. Coming to Xbox One probably next month, uh, if I had to guess. Yeah, and this... Uh, so you can see that time actually does move a little bit, even when you're not, not moving. Like, uh, I can show you here. Take it slow. That's right. It's what it wants me to do. So you can see this bullet. It's... Especially when I look... So if I, even if I don't look here, you can see it's still moving through the air. And then it'll move faster if I if I look, and even faster if I move. Oh, I forgot I'm not doing a challenge mode. Uh, last time I played this level, it was swords only, so I had to run through this and get close to take these guys out. So... Very cool, very cool. The one, uh, one, I one of the issues I have with it is it's a little short. The story, I think the first time it actually took me a few hours, uh, close to four. Oh boy, Let's see if I can save myself. <laughs> Blocked the, the bullet with my gun. Um, but yeah, the story can be completed in a, in a few hours, depending on how good you are and then um, a lot of the extra modes are just these same levels that I'm playing through now with uh, some slight modifiers speedrun modes and you know punching only swords only that kind of stuff super hot super hot super but still, like, this is a, it's a, an awesome package they put together. Like, this, the way the, the stylized text here, the, the design of the environments, the enemies. The endless mode is actually a lot of fun. Especially when you can see your replay of, like, you know, 20, 30 guys all going down. It's kind of fun. It's it's real rad. Just some of the coolest action sequences that rival like, the biggest action movies when it's all played together. Like this one might. Let's see what this this replay looks like. Super hot. Super hot. 
just super hot. rad. Absolutely super rad. Hot. Super hot. So then there's some there's some really light storytelling, <laughs> which explain the the UI and kind of everything else about this game. I like to jump around. Jumping is really cool on this because when you hold the jump button, you kind of float. Time moves slow. We're actually uh, doing a giveaway over on Monster Vine. If you, I don't think it's ended yet. I think you got another another couple days before that one ends. So some people were asking me about how the controller uh, works for these this this part of the game. Just use the triggers to type. So it's just a bunch of this. Everyone gets something different. It's crazy. That's right, I got kicked out. Oh yeah, there's a new crack. So yeah, I guess the, the story is this is some an illegitimate piece of software that or you don't have access to, but uh, someone has given you the files to the crack that lets you access this game on the company's server. And he's kind of helping you out and giving you the, the updated files. Oh. oh yeah, this is where they introduced the jump mechanic. I don't know how he died. Sometimes I'm really bad at doing the shots correctly. You can you can shoot bullets with your gun if you're good enough. Uh, and I've heard that you can even slice them out of the air with your uh, sword, but I have not been able to do that. Uh, so let's actually throw this gun. It's probably empty. We're very close to it. There's no benefit from getting a headshot, uh, except I think there's some achievements to track that. Super. And sometimes it says stuff Hot. like boom Super. when you get a headshot. So it's it looks cooler. So yeah, if you're watching this live, we, we do have a we do have a giveaway going right now. Four super hot uh, steam code. If you just uh, go to monstermind.com and then do the giveaways tab at the top. It's where we'd like to keep them. We also uh, started a Hitman Go giveaway today for the PS4 version. And our phone conducting headphones from Aftershock it ends tonight. Actually, you have a few more hours. And uh, entering CZ, just kind of interact with our social media or social media of the people who gave us the stuff to give out. And check out content on the site. Enter our super hot giveaway by checking out our uh, super, super hot review. Hot. Super hot. Super hot. Uh, one of the levels that really teaches you about. Ooh, he got me about uh, close quarters combat, melee combat here. Three punches. Or one swing of the bat. And it's all about getting these guys in the right order. If I can actually m position myself correctly. Shouldn't be. Oh, he just did. He just really. So a lot of times it's 
you throw your weapon instantly, so it's beneficial to throw that uh, throw it instead of waiting for your wind up to swing again or shoot again. Yeah, this uh, this was actually kick a Kickstarter a few years ago. It's so cool. They really pulled it together well. Uh, pulled it off. Super hot. Super hot. Super. And it runs pretty well on super hot. Lower end machines, it's, it scales pretty well. Super. these environmental objects we pick up and throw three three weapons shotgun like a, an auto or assault rifle and a pistol come on shot off magazine empty. thing about this is you just press a button and you're back in it. Slight load, but it's very quick. Which is what it needs to be on some of these more difficult but, uh this is this one right here was the first like uh, challenge that I ran into where I had to play it more than once. Or more than a few times. I think there's a way to... These guys are all disarmed. Yeah, everything. Everything only moves when you move. <clears throat> there's a little bit, like you can see, things still move. Even when I'm not moving, but... It's very slow. And there is a mode where nothing moves if you're not moving and bullets fa uh, travel faster as a result it's kind of a balancing they did for that mode which is unlocked when the game is completed and I have not like I was saying earlier the save file got rewritten with the retail or the release update they one patch That hits. Got him. Disarmed him. Grab the shotgun. Super, Super hot. <laughs> hot. Yeah, so here, I'll, I'll let this play out. Yep, Super it shows it in hot. real time. And Super it's so cool. <laughs> uh, especially Super some of the more complicated hot. levels. And, Super um, Super like, you can then, um, Super you can edit the replay here. Uh, and take a clip and upload it to their website, killstagram.com, I think. <laughs> Which wasn't working quite right when I was reviewing it, but I think it's working a little better. Super. But yeah, it's it's great. And then, let's see if... Oh, yep. Yeah, this this game is really cool. I actually have to throw my bat at this guy, which is unfortunate. I'm just going to try and keep it. Okay. Oh, here we go, katana time.
Let's see how this replay looks. Super. Yeah. Hot. Super. Hot. Oh, I skipped it. Dang it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, so I'm hopefully. I don't think I'll play to be able to unlock the uh, endless modes and stuff like that, but we'll get a little further here on the story mode before I call it quits. It's a really just awesome game. First time playing it, I think I, I had a goofy grin on the entire time. So here's the uh, here's the assault rifle. Fires, he fires three bullets per trigger pull. Yeah, this one was another bit of a challenge because you can kind of walk into the wall and move time forward. There is an achievement for getting three kills with one trigger pull. Not, not been able to do, but this looks like it would be the perfect opportunity. Yeah, yeah, the art style kind of reminded me of like... Uh, Oh, I just did it. <laughs> uh, like, 90s interpretation of a virtual reality world. Like, very minimalistic. Rough polygons. Low detail. Yeah, and then there's this whole... Just bizarre storyline light very light story but so cool so cool so we'll take a look at this this message this is the guy who uh, sent me the, the game <laughs> use triggers to type didn't feel like it was that long No plot, no reason for anything. Just killing red guys. Yeah. They patched it. Now it's password protected. So yeah, and other things in this are uh, just really cool. Just, I don't know, it's ASCII art. There's um, a couple of mini games. <laughs> uh, there's like a this fire demo. Just super cool style. But let's uh, let's get a couple more levels in here. Even though it says it's password protected. Let's see if we can guess it. And by guess it, I mean... Mash on the triggers. <laughs> Sure enough, we're granted access. There's these weird kind of effects that they put in. There's another one that can be challenging here. Super. 
So yeah, <laughs> the end of the level, it, it just forces you to throw throw your weapon, which is the just the perfect way to end it. Let's just let it let it play here. My super super cool moves. And yeah, sometimes you can some weird weird story elements here. Determining breach location. Just self aware. They can see me. Something weird happened. I think I just saw myself in the game. Uh oh, that's not what I typed. Yeah, yeah, this reminded me a little bit about Pony Island. Uh, as well. Although I haven't played that yet. But I really should. This was equally as surprising, I think. I just expected a first-person shooter puzzle game. I did not expect this... Uh, this weird, super hot user interface and uh, some kind of story. The tutorial. Perfect. See, I, I'm pushing buttons here and I cannot move. Oh, there we go. Walk. Keep moving. Alright, I won't touch it. It's a good level. I still like that level. No, no replay of that one though. Oh. Okay. Make him fly. <laughs> Watch that polygonal rag doll. Good year for uh, slow mo games. We got super hot, and then uh, next month, I guess April, so Quantum Break uh, for Xbox and PC is going to have some weird time mechanics. That's right, they're in control. Yeah, this game is really about switch uh, situational awareness, knowing where the enemies are going to be. Not where they're going to be, but paying attention. So if you're not, stuff like that happens. Just die. It's okay. Because it's quick. It's a quick restart. Really, I suck uh, sometimes when I try to play this like a regular first-person shooter and try to move fast instead of being strategic. I try to strafe and maybe jump a little more than I should. I guess I should just 
just shoot him. very nice they like to plant their feet oh, what just hit me oh boy okay out of ammo Yeah, and it, uh, if, I don't know if you noticed, but the crosshair rotates when you shoot, and when it's back in its normal position, that's when you can fire again. So every every gun has a different kind of I don't know rechambering speed. get it. <laughs> done this one before. It's about kind of figuring out the puzzle. Knowing what to do. Maybe not just running in while they still have a gun out. Using my environment a little better. Deserves to be watched. <laughs> yeah. Boom. Okay. Super. Super hot. Uh, hello. here for, alright? Break glass everywhere. Uh -oh. Yeah, they like to go for any kind of weapon that you can leave in the environment. So, like, if one of their allies drops a, drops a gun... They're going to try and pick it up instead of going after you with their fists. Oh no. They never saw it coming. Oh, 
empty. Time for a new gun. Oh no. Super. Yes. that the only things uh, spoken in this game are the words super and hot. <laughs> when will you learn? <laughs> Dance, dog. You don't belong here. I, I think the katana is my favorite weapon. Alright. It's gotta be... There we go. Okay, let's throw the katana at that guy. Throw this at that guy. Shoot this gun. Shoot that guy. Watch your six. You got it. And Close. I was gonna almost get it on my first try. Got a lot of these guys. Oh, slice in half. So good. Maybe I can just. I don't know if I can throw it at his legs. Oh, I missed. Oh. It'll stick into the ground and then you can pick it up uh, really easily. Easily, instead of waiting or running further to go pick it up again, because the uh, katana is one. I think it, it's an indestructible weapon. I don't know. Sometimes it does miss. <laughs> have assault rifles. I took one of them out. Oh, there's the pistol. Grab it. Mm. See if it'll go through two. Well, it's close. Oh yes, <laughs> that. Hopefully, we can. I can finish this off because that looked awesome. Dodged it, dang. 
dang it. Can I get him? Super. Looks pretty cool. Yes. Super. Super hot. Elevator pitch. I probably should have punched the guy with the gun pointed at me first, right? Or at least get out of the way. <laughs> yeah, this one's much more of a puzzle than I think any of the other ones. Instant reset. Where'd the gun go? Oh, it's... Maybe if I just... Nope. I swear I've done this before. I need to be jumping, that's right. Always be jumping. <laughs> Maybe not. Slow down. Let's actually dodge some shots here. He shoots first. Then he shoots. This might kill his buddy. Nope. There it is. Elevator pitch. Oh, dang it. I don't know what happened there. I guess I didn't kill one of them. Just, uh, just like the game taught me earlier. Go slow. Not slow enough. Alright. Now it's... Okay. Guess there is friendly fire. Or something. Super. Press A to hand over control. After every no plot, no reason for anything. Just killing red guys. Hey, that's what I said earlier. That's right, I don't know what I'm doing. Watch closely. Uh Watching your home. We're watching you. This is your body. Your mind is here with us. See, I'm pushing the start button. No, they call it the menu button. It knows that I have an Xbox One controller, I think. Oh, skip through here. That's a incoming message. This is not a game. Quit. 
while you can. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Promise you won't watch launch superhot.exe again. Say the exact words. So, yeah, I think I'll I'll end it there. That is a uh, that's super hot. It's great. It's a great, great game. Twenty five bucks on Steam. I think it's still on sale. Uh, from the launch week, maybe until the end of today. Uh, and it has this mini game called Tree Dude. That's Tree Dude. So I wanted to hear some Tree Dude. So, yeah, thanks for watching. I will uh, maybe try and stream stream something midweek. Hopefully. But <clears throat> if not, I should be back next week with another episode of Monster Monday. Uh, I've got a mm, couple other YouTube videos of Super Hot if you want to check out more. Uh, where I show off some of the endless mode and you know that that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll, we'll leave you here with uh, some pipes. Thanks again for stopping by and uh, have a great week. <laughs>